Hello wonderful people! My name is Simon and today I will show you how to create a simple motor start-stop control diagram in the PLC Simulator Online. You will learn how to develop and simulate project from your browser without installing any additional software. The user interface is divided into five sections Menu, Toolbox, Actions, Variables also called Tags and Diagram. The menu bar allows you to undo and redo your changes, load empty or sample diagram and save the project in the database. In the toolbox you can find all other logic elements available in the simulator. The action bar allows you to move, edit and delete ladder elements. Let's start by loading an empty diagram. Click on the empty file icon and confirm by clicking load. First we need to add variables, also known as tags. Type in the new variable name, select the type of the tag and press enter or click on the submit button. To rename a variable, click on its name field, type in the new name and confirm with the enter key or click outside of the variable field. To delete the variable, Select it and click on the X symbol. After adding all the variables, let's add elements to the diagram. To add an element, select a rung and click on the desired element icon in the toolbox. The selected ladder object is highlighted with blue color. If you want to move it, click on the arrow in the action bar. To delete an element, Select it and click on the trash icon bin or press the delete key on your keyboard. Now we need to assign tags to elements. Select an element that you want to configure and click on it again to open its properties pop-up. You can do it also by clicking on the pencil icon. Now select a variable from the drop-down list. Close the pop-up by pressing the escape key or clicking outside of the pop-up and configure other elements. In this example, we are going to use normally closed contact to examine the stop tag. To do so, click on the icon in the type section of element properties. Every element in the diagram is configured. We can start the simulation by clicking on the green arrow in action bar. To change variable state, we need to click on its value. If the variable is assigned to a contact element, you can toggle its value by clicking on the contact. Let me quickly explain the logic. When the machine operator presses the start button, the start tag changes its value to true. In this case, normally open contact passes the signal from the left side to the right. Since the stop variable assigned to normally closed contact is false, normally closed contact passes the signal from the left to the right, energizing coil with motor tag assigned. The energized coil changes the value of its variable to true. When the operator releases the start button, value of the start variable is set to false. Normally open contact now holds the signal, but the motor coil is still energized by a signal passing through the branch with the motor normally open contact. To turn off the motor, the operator needs to press the stop button. When he does that, the stop variable changes its value to true. Normally closed contact now holds the signal and the coil is no longer energized. If the coil is not energized, it sets the variable value to false. Now let's modify our project a bit by adding a timer. We want to force the operator to hold the start button for 2 seconds to start the motor. 
Click on the rank icon to add a new one. Add contact and a timer. Since we want to test the start button as a timer input, assign the start variable to the contact. Create a new delay variable of timer type. Expand properties of newly created timer variable and change process time value to 2000 milliseconds. Now assign the variable to the timer element. You also need to change the variable assigned to normally open contact in the second rung. Instead of testing the start variable directly, we want to test the output of the timer. Let's start the simulation and test the logic. Now when your project is ready and tested, click on the share icon to share the project with others. To learn more about sharing, please check the link in the corner. In upcoming videos, I will explain how ladder elements like timer and counter work, so please make sure that you subscribe if you want to learn more. I am fully aware that the PLC simulator online is far from perfect, however, I am still working on it, so please hit that like button if you appreciate my work. See you in the next video.